Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap, and these are not watch reviews. They're just quick wristwatch check of the day with a aftermarket strap of some sort uh, to pair with a watch for the day, and um, or maybe a couple of days. Uh, today, I am on the Ferrer Bernina Chronograph Sport. Um, yeah, this one's a really cool one. Uh, I don't know if they still make these anymore. I think they've... You know, these, you can pick, like, the limited edition numbers to have engraved on the back, actually. And, um, yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> I'm curious if it's actually limited and that's it. Or will they bring this back? It sounds like from some people uh, that have commented on my photos and, and videos before that uh, maybe they have stopped making it. Um, unless, uh, they've been known to take, like, a also like a break between production periods like they won't produce like a certain model for a little bit and then they'll kind of bring it back uh but um they also tend to bring back something else like a different colorway and slightly treat uh, in the uh, general design uh so they don't usually come back exactly as they were before so who knows um uh, but anyways, this is what I've got on today, and uh, it's on a, uh, a fairly affordable strap from CNS Watch Bands, um, formerly known as uh, Cheapest NATO Straps, uh, but they couldn't use the name, I guess, so the NATO thing, uh, and so I think they just abbreviated it into CNS, which is fine. It's still the same, uh, you know, products and stuff, um, and I think, uh, yeah, they, they have some pretty good stuff. It's fairly really reasonably priced especially if you get more than five i think you start getting 20 percent discounts over the over the overall um uh overall order that you put in and uh, so that makes it even cheaper uh but they're not necessarily cheap as in a bad and uh you know really cheap uh flimsy way at least not always <laughs> uh for the most part um you know i found that their nato straps are 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 fair or really good for their price uh the rib natos are good um they're elastic kind of they have a several versions of the like the elastic marine national style they have they have all sorts of names for them there's a paratrooper there's a seals they have different ways of attachment for one thing but i have to say none of them really appeal to me uh unfortunately they tend to um uh, it would the elastic one might have worked but they added this third this this larger piece of hardware which you hook onto and i get that i think they did that just to make the the uh the securing end that that slides up and down which it helps you adjust the size uh, a little bit more secure because it's kind of interwoven more if you understand what i mean or interlaced it kind of goes in and out of the uh hardware more instead of just uh, a more simplified uh, pass through and so uh but it looks like it's it just adds a little too much um hardware and it's, it's a bit of a wide metal piece and i don't like the way it sticks out so anyways uh but i do like the rib natos and uh even though the basic natos was like this this was only this is on sale maybe it's being discontinued whatever uh they got tons of nato straps like uh usually in the more standard build um they have the most variety of colors and patterns and this one was like two something like less than three dollars and i was like what the heck i'll try it and i was thinking you know i always think about what i compare with this watch um I, I love the racing theme that's with it so and i always try to of course match the red white and blues uh and i do have several straps already but this one stood out is that because i like primary colors and this one has that yellow or rather I guess you can consider it more of a gold color, but basically yellow. And um, and I said, like, you know, this could work. And I, I think it does. Um, and I was thinking about it as I was uh, more. I said, like, you know what? These are racing colors that I, I know of. Uh, and I looked at it and I said, yes, they are uh, the ones from the Porsche uh, Dakar Rally uh, racing uh, colors. Um, if you look at, gosh, back uh, in the 80s, at least, uh, when they had the the 959 with the the car racing you know uh, scheme and uh, now that the 911s have that as well the newest ones and yeah they basically have like a, a blue gold red and white accents on them and yeah so that's what it is and i think it works uh yeah there isn't really any yellow but that's all right you got three out of the 
uh, the four colors that are on the strap and uh and you know it, it's uh it works it works and uh yeah that's pretty much it um just wanted to share this and also uh uh notice right down here hey look i have a red hundred too on my tanky meter uh it's just a little joke if you uh are watching this near the recent rolex um announcement of their was it the 100th anniversary of Le Mans 24-hour racing uh Daytona yeah that one's pretty damn sweet uh white gold of course and as they do like the special and anniversary pieces uh, of sorts and uh it, it's really cool that they brought it uh there's some other there's a number of details I'm not going to go into it, but the main thing was uh how they integrated the i guess the the old school vintage uh paul newman you know daytona their, their sub dials into the, the more modern version of the daytona and it actually works and you know it's funny because if you think about some micro brands that actually have done something like this before uh um yeah it's, it's just funny that they end up doing the same thing that i think some micro brands have kind of done before they, they tend to mix up uh uh, d d different design elements and famous chronographs and uh, kind of make it their own if, <laughs> if, you can, if you can even call it that but anyways um, that's my little ramble on that uh, watch it's pretty sweet but of course um, in the grand scheme of things for most people who cares because <laughs> they're never going to spend that much money uh, on a watch for, I think most normal people Number two, uh, yeah, you, who's going to be able to get a hold of one of those except the top celebrities or someone who's got killer, like, you know, relationship with a Rolex AD. Uh, otherwise, you're waitlisted like a mofo. And uh, yeah, and you never see the light of day of that one, even if you do get one. <laughs> Could get a call. Um, I don't know if you, again, you spend 51 something on it. But I suppose if you are really waitlisting for for reals, and I guess you are planning to spend that. Otherwise, look for it on a second-hand market for at least double or more the price, of course. Uh, that's the way it goes with Rolex. And especially that one. That's actually pretty damn nice for it. Uh, it's just, I, think, I guess it only comes in the black with a reverse panda dial. But um, I'm not sure if there's other versions. But that's the main one I saw, if, uh, if that's the only one. But, uh, yeah. I have kind of a reverse panda here. It's look at this. It's actually really subtle. Look at the subdials. They're actually white, kind of like the uh, white ceramic bezel, but the main dial is actually an off white. So it's basically like a reverse white panda, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, but anyways, there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, I hope you watch another one of these, and uh, yeah, enjoy your watches. See ya.